Welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. And today we're showing you some cool underwater footage and talking about bowling pin teasers and how to use them to catch more fish. So I'm a big fan of teasers, right? I mean, I try to look for everything that could help me catch more fish. And I've done some pretty crazy stuff, some pretty elaborate teasers. There are things such as daisy chain of squid, spreader bars, dredges, bowling pin teasers, things like that. And that's what we're going to talk about today is bowling pin teasers. Bowling pin teasers are kind of like what they sound. They look like a bunch of bowling pins. My guess is that's how they got started. Someone just started pulling bowling pins. And these things are crazy. You can get uh, one by itself. You can get them in a set of four or even a set of six. You put these things back in your spread and they whip around, darting in and out, creates all, creates all kind of commotion. And it mimics like a school of... A uh, little bonita, tuna, I've seen some dolphin colored, just a real erratic thing like there's a school of fish feeding right behind your boat. If you take a look at some of our footage we took of bonita feeding offshore, and you can see these fish are just darting in and out. I mean, tuna and bonita, you know, those kinds of fish, they seem like they can just turn on a dime. I mean, when we're fishing for these guys and when you catch one on, you're fishing and the fish is pulling this way and next thing you know, boom, the fish is going this way and then this way and this way. And they're darting all around and that's kind of like our clue, like, okay, we probably got a bonita on. Real crazy swimming fish and that's probably why the bowling pin teasers do such a good job of mimicking them. So take a look at how these bowling pin teasers uh, look underwater. We went underwater with our scuba gear and took, took a look at them. You can see going by in regular speed, you know, they're darting all about, swimming around right at the transom of your boat. Kind of like looking how we saw on the drone footage of the, you know, Benina swimming in and out. We'll slow it down and you can see them really darting around. So it looks pretty cool, pretty cool to me anyways. Here's another look at the bowling pin teasers from the Go Fish Cam. Pulling them in the spread, you can see these guys are whipping around, creating quite the commotion. They'll dart into the uh, whitewash of your motors. They'll go up to the surface, and when they do that and they come back down, you can see that just bubble, what they call smoke trail, just engulfs them, and it leaves that trail. Um, really attractive for lures. Sometimes they do that. A lot of lures will do that. They'll pop to the surface, grab a smoke trail, go back down, and um, even when you see like on the drone, like the real fish doing that, they're creating this bubble trail. So pretty realistic to me. Now, they're not the easiest teaser to use. If you're new to pulling teasers, I wouldn't suggest starting with these. I would suggest something simple like a daisy chain of squid. Daisy chain of squid, you can run them back on a little rod. They don't snag grass. You know, they're, they're pretty easy to do. You know, it doesn't take much thought at all. It's, it's a great thing to start with and they're still effective. Bowling pin teasers are harder. They come in a bag and pulling them out of the bag, they're all tangled and I'm like, okay, where's the back one? Where's the front one? can take a minute to find which one's which. I've used the Cuban yo-yo to wrap them, and that does help. So once you do wrap them up that way, then you can just feed them off and peel them off and put them back in your spread. Now, I've experimented running bowling pin teasers with an inline weight to bring them down a little bit, or without a weight, and you can do either. The good thing about the weight is it does bring them down a little bit. Now, bowling pin teasers also can be difficult because they'll snag like sargasm grass things like that. A squid daisy chain will just kind of go right over the surface. Not There's no hooks or nothing to snag it. It's fine, but bowling pin teasers, they will snag it. Another thing to remember is these bowling pin teasers are whipping all around about right at the back. So I do like to run a bait fairly close to the bowling pin teasers or whatever teaser I'm doing because it's supposed to look like the weak one behind it, right? And that's supposed to be like, okay, the teaser gets their attention and then they see that one weight bait which is your bait with the hook and then they pounce on that at least that's how i run them so you have to be careful when you run a bait close to your teaser if these teasers are whipping around and one whips over i've gotten some pretty good tangles where that bowling pin teaser whipped all around my hook bait so you got to be careful and that might be where you might want to run a weight run a little weight keeps them a little deeper keep it close to your transom and then you've got your taller rod a little bit further back or your rod on the other side of the boat. And that'll keep it pretty hassle-free. So bowling pin teasers are pretty cool. Here's so many cool things about them. You know, guys just getting a lot of 
fish to come in their spread. We're going to keep pulling them, see what happens. Uh, as I learn more things about them and more tips, I'll be sure to share them with you guys. If you guys have any tips or any thoughts on bowling pin teasers, be sure to comment below. Hope the underwater footage at least helped you guys to kind of visualize what these teasers do. If you have any other questions, don't forget to comment below. And we appreciate it if you like and subscribe and share. And we'll see y'all on the next video.